Well, hey there, Kingdom Kiddos. What a fantastic day that we're about to have today. I think it's time for our little friend. Uh, our little friend. Uh, gobbledygoop. He lives inside the trash, mixing up the... Oh, well, where is that goofy sound that's supposed to play? Oh, let me try playing it with my phone here. Well, there's the sound, and oh, well, here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Gobbledygoop. Gobbledygoop, gobbledygoop, lives inside the trash. Gobbledygoop, gobbledygoop, help him if you can. He's mixing up the Bible story, mixing up the verse. Gobbledygoop, gobbledygoop, teach this guy the word. Oh, Mr. Matt, I really didn't want to come out here today. Oh, why not, Gobbledygoop? Well, I heard the story from last week about how King Saul tried to give David some armor and a sword, and instead, he just said that he was going to use five smooth stones. Well, yeah, that's right. Well, I might just be a guy that lives in the trash and eats old tissues. But I know that if David shows up with some rocks to fight a giant man with a giant sword and a giant spear, it's going to be a giant disaster. Oh, so you're scared for David? I'm scared for myself. If that's how we're supposed to fight the giant by doing something that doesn't make any sense, then I'll never win against my giants. Well, gobbledygook, God doesn't just tell us to do a bunch of crazy stuff all the time. But the point of our story is that David wasn't super strong or have a big sword. See, all David had was God. He knew that he couldn't fight the giant on his own. God himself would have to fight the giant if David trusted him. In fact, our power verse today says, The Lord your God is before you. He will fight for you. Deuteronomy 1.30 Oh, and if God can defeat David's giant, then he can defeat mine too. And then everyone will know that God is with us. The Lord your God is before you. He will fight for you. Deuteronomy 1.30 Well, if David wasn't embarrassed or afraid to face Goliath with five stones and God in front of him, then I won't be ashamed of my God either. That a boy gobbledygook. Well, kids, you know what time it is. It is time to get into our time of praise and worship to our God. So let's all stand up, focus on him, and get ready to sing and dance along with us. Are you ready? 